Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be teaching you how to install the client side version of Forge. But before we get into the tutorial, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you can see when we post new tutorials. One of the most exciting parts about playing Minecraft is using mods. Mods allow for customization past vanilla Minecraft and can really change your gameplay in some awesome ways. However, adding mods is not as simple as putting them into a mods folder. You must be running the Minecraft Forge version in order for these mods to work. Forge is great as this modding API allows for tens of thousands of mods out there to be in your client. Installing Forge is not too difficult and today we'll be walking you through all of the steps of how to. Don't forget, Forge is only for Minecraft Java Edition and is not made for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There are many ways to install Forge on your Minecraft client. We will be walking you through how to install it on your base Minecraft launcher and how you can do it through the Twitch desktop app. First up is Windows. Head to the official Forge website. To the left of the page, you will see a listing of all Minecraft versions. Find the version of Minecraft that you want to run and click it. It's best to stick with the recommended version, but if you want to go with another one, they will all be listed on this page. Once you decide on which to download, click the installer download. Once you run the installer, it will open a pop-up. You will want to select Install Client and wait for it to finish installing. Open Minecraft and make sure the version to the left of the play button is set to Forge, then click Play. Once Minecraft is fully launched, go ahead and close it. This will generate the necessary files for Forge in the Minecraft directory. Next up is Mac. Head over to the official Forge website. To the left of the page, you will see a listing of all Minecraft versions. Find the version of Minecraft that you want to run and click it. Same with Windows, it's best to stick with the recommended version, but if you want to go with another one, they will all be listed on this page. Once you decide on which to download, click the installer download. Go to your downloads folder and drag the file to your desktop and open the file. If you get an error that it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer, you'll want to go to System Preferences, search Security, and towards the bottom you'll see a message about it being blocked. To the right of it, click Open Anyway and then Open Again. Once the file is open, go ahead and click Install Client and press OK. Go to your Applications folder and open up Minecraft. Make sure the version is set to Forge, then click Play. Lastly, we have the Twitch Desktop app. Open up the Twitch Desktop app and then head to the Mods tab. Select Minecraft and go to the Create Custom Profile tab. Enter in any name for profile name. Select the version of Minecraft you want your server to run and leave the mod loader at the latest version of Forge. Click Create and then head to the My Mod Packs tab. You should see your new profile being listed there. Make sure all other Minecraft launchers are closed and then click Play. If you do run into any issues, here are some common ones that we've found. The version doesn't show up in Minecraft. If you've installed Forge but you aren't seeing the version being listed, it's highly likely that you installed the server version instead of the client one. Make sure to double check this. If you seem unable to install Forge, make sure that you have run the native version of Minecraft first. This generates the proper directories in which Forge is installed to. Adding Forge to your Minecraft client is the first step to enhance your Minecraft experience. By adding Forge, you can get access to the endless mods available on sites such as CurseForge. If you've seen videos of mod packs or similar, all of these require Forge as well. Don't forget that if you own a server, Forge must be installed on both your Minecraft client and your server. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.